Welcome. Welcome, my dear friends. Myself, Professor Dr. Rajendra Deshpande, would like to welcome you all in this interesting video for the fourth year BMA students. This is regarding the Shalya Tantra subject or surgery. Today, we are going to discuss the topic diseases of rectum and anal canal, presented by, of course, myself, Professor Dr. Rajendra Deshpande. I am MD in Ayurvedic medicine and MD in Ayurvedic physiology. I am in WhatsApp number is 9226810630 for paid online consultation and paid online classes. So let us start to study about diseases of rectum and anal canal. This lecture is very, very useful for lifetime purpose. This is not only for exam oriented lecture, because in this lecture, I'm giving you the very interesting tips, even for the diagnosis and even for the treatment. So my dear friends, this is not only for exam. This is for exam and this is for practice. Shalya Tantra lecture, fourth year BMS, Central Council of Indian Medicine syllabus, paper two, part A, point number 13, and diseases of rectum and anal canal, hemorrhoids, piles, or arsha. There are two types of the arsha in Ayurveda, stravi arsha, that is with bleeding, and shishka arsha, without bleeding. So let us start to study about piles. What is the etymology? How that particular word has formed? Pile. Pile means pila is coming from the pila. Is pila is a ball in Latin. So this is a rounded shaped mass in anorectal region. So that is hemorrhoid. And what is the hemorrhoid? Hema means blood. And oros means oozing. Many times from this ball, oozing of the blood takes place. So the word hemorrhoid. There are two words, similar words, synonyms, piles and hemorrhoids. So let us move further. Piles. What is piles? You will have asked in the examination. Dilated plexus of hemorrhoid veins in relation to the anal canal. This is the definition. Dilated plexus of hemorrhoidal veins. So piles is nothing but the dilatation of veins. There are three types of vessels, arteries, veins, and capillaries. So this is the regarding the veins. Hemorrhoid is nothing but dilated veins at the anorectal region in the relation to the anal canal. This is the inflammation of anal cushion. Anal cushion is formed by the venules, arterioles, arteriovenule junctions, smooth connecting tissues, and mucosa of anal canal. So there is an inflammation to all these parts or all these contents. What are the causes? Standing or prolonged sitting. Long time standing, long time sitting is bad because it can give the pressure, gravity pressure. Blood has to flow against the gravity. Okay. Defecation. The veins pass through the mucosa of the anus and rectum. They get constricted if there is hard stool. So constipation, long standing constipation is the main cause of piles. Two things are important. Continuous sitting in front of the computer because of your business, because of your occupation, because of your service. Sitting for seven, eight, nine hours and in the morning, constipation. These are the two important causes for piles. Remember this thing. Excessive straining. Mm -hmm. Well, defecation, hard stool is there. Absence of valves or congenital weak veins. Congenital weak veins. Pregnancy. This is one of the important causes for starting the pile problem due to the pressure effect and hormones which relaxes the muscles of the veins. Carcinoma of the rectum is also one of the cause of piles due to the back pressure and portal hypertension. This is created in patients of alcoholic because liver is damaged. First, there will be the cirrhosis of the liver, then portal hypertension and complication of portal hypertension. Back pressure is nothing but the back pressure. And because of the back pressure, upward esophageal varices, and at the bottom, there will be piles. This is a complication of liver cirrhosis, which is taking place in the excessive alcohol drinking. So when liver is damaged, you can get the problem of the piles. Okay, next. Classification of piles. Internal hemorrhoids, external hemorrhoids, and interno external hemorrhoids. This is always asked in the examination. LAQ. Long answer question. Describe hemorrhoids in detail. So you have to first is a classification, anatomical classification. Internal hemorrhoids, internal piles are situated 
about dentate line. This word you should not forget. Dentate line and covered with mucosa. External hemorrhoids situated below. Below. Dentate line and covered with skin. You must know the anatomy. Yeah? Dentate line. You have to go to the anatomic book and see where is the dentate line. Interno external hemorrhoids situated above and below dentate line and covered with mucosa and skin. Classification of piles according to the position. Second classification, okay? Primary piles, secondary piles. Primary piles situated at 11 o'clock, 7 o'clock and 3 o'clock position as per the clock. I will just show you this clock. You have to see at home where is 11, okay? Where is 7 o'clock? Where is 3 o'clock? And you have to draw the picture in the examination. Huh? Clock. 11 o'clock, 7 o'clock, 3 o'clock, this is primary piles. And situated at 1 and 2 o'clock, they are secondary piles. Classification of piles according to severity. Severity, okay, condition of the pile. First degree pile, second degree pile, third degree pile, and fourth degree pile. Shamana chikitsa. Medicines can be applicable in the first and second grade. Third grade, oh, you have to think of surgery. Fourth, oh, there must be some surgical intervention. So, shamana and shodhana chikitsa. Tatra dhanvandriyanam adhikarha. There is a role of surgeon. When? When there is a fourth degree piles. Okay. First degree pile, only bleeding, but do not come that particular mass. Do not come out of the anus. Second degree, protrude that particular pile's mass comes out during the defecation, but goes automatically inside the anus after the defecation. And third degree piles protrude out and has to push inside manually with the hands, with the fingers manually. Fourth degree piles protrude out not only during the defecation, but even during the <coughs> coughing, sneezing, laughing, and remains outside. That is severe. Fourth degree piles. Okay. Next. Clinical features. First is a painless bleeding. Important characteristic. In the feet, there are three important problems in anorectal region. Three. Piles, fissure, fistula. Don't forget this. Piles, fissure, fistula. Piles, fissure, fistula. Piles, Pain, less bleeding. Fissure, severe pain. Fissure, parikartika, severe pain. Fissure in anu. Because there are wounds. I am going to make another video on the fissure. This is piles, pain, less bleeding. Huh? Drop by drop. Tap, 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 after defecation. Bleeding after defecation, which is a drop wise or splash in the pan, latrine pan. External piles does not bleed usually but use only pain. But that is not severe as fissure. Remember, okay? Protrusion of mass, this is second uh, symptom. Discharge of the mucus, itching or irritation and soiling of undergarments. Okay? Per rectal examination. PR examination. Per doc the doctor asks, surgeon asks the patient to turn on the left side. Left lateral position. Remember this left lateral position turn on the left side and then flex flex your right knee right leg left leg straight and then blows sterilization and the surgeon push his finger through the anal opening yes that is pr examination internal piles can't be felt unless they are secondarily infected proctoscopy important Internal piles bulge into lumen of proctoscope, which are purple in color. Grades of piles. Can you see? This is rectum. This is anal part. This is anal cushion. Third degree piles out. Fourth degree piles. Can you see here? External pile or sentinel pile. Second degree piles. And this is first degree piles. So in the picture form. You have to draw the picture in the examination. Okay. Piles treatment. Sits bath. Very important. Sits bath. Warm water. Avagaha Sveda in Ayurveda. This is internal hemorrhoid. Rubber 
band ligation this is one of the treatment for hemorrhoids or the piles okay this is ligator next complications of the piles pain the most important is pain whenever there is infection usually in the piles there will not be pain painless bleeding but whenever there is infection pain will be there thrombosis blood clot thrombosis ulceration and suppuration pus formation what is suppuration pus formation piles medical treatment number 1 laxative abhayarisht trifala ghanavati himalay company herbolex tablet huh? then sits bath avagah swed local xylocain jelly if there is a pain only tablet over on internally long acting la means long acting one in the morning one in the evening after food over on di cyclophenac sodium analgesic anti inflammatory pain will be gone inflammation will go antibiotic if infection is suspected fever will be there pain will be more like zat you cremafin pink cremafin white to avoid the straining then surgical treatments there are different treatments lords dilatation injection therapy barun band ligation cryo surgery infrared coagulation transfix and ligation hemorrhoidectomy and best treatment is a kshara sutra treatment in ayurved medicated treatment ayurvedic treatments for the dry piles shishka arsha kankayana guti two tablets morning afternoon evening with warm water trifala gugulu two tablets morning afternoon evening and abhayarisht four teaspoon with equal amount of water two times in a day after meal abhaya means hirda haritaki this is the best laxative in ayurveda so this is the treatment for dry piles next dry piles kutaj ghanavati this is different types of treatments two tablets three times in a day arogya vardhini this is another prescription huh? first was another this is another not all the tablets at a time arogya vardhini tablets whenever there is a specifically portal hypertension liver cirrhosis problem alcoholic patient arogya vardhini is the best treatment best drug best medicine for liver arogya vardhini two tablet morning afternoon evening amrut bhalla takavaleh amrut means guduchi gulvel one teaspoon each morning rasayana gandharv haritaki churna gandharv means castor oil ricinus communis and haritaki hirda terminalia chebula okay one teaspoon at bed time this is a powder with warm water dry piles locally what you can do apply sarj rasa malhar malhar means ointment or shat dhuta ghrit medicated ghee externally only not internally fumigate dhupana chikitsa of ayurveda with gugulu vacha vekhand i'm sorry dhup of ova apply chukra tail and advise sits bath avadah swe bleeding piles there is another in dry piles kankayana guti in bleeding piles bol badh ras two tablet morning afternoon evening then sam sharkar churn two teaspoon three times in a day two teaspoon morning afternoon evening trifala churna two teaspoon at bed time with ghee and warm water then another formulation another prescription for bleeding piles pravalavati of hari parshuram aushadhalaya two tablets three times in a day kam dudhavati hari parshuram aushadhalaya khadi wale vaidya pune two tablets three times in a day kutaja rishth four teaspoon with equal amount of water after meal after lunch and after dinner bleeding piles another prescription many prescriptions by professor desh pande doctor will decide what to give to particular patient pilex tablet of himalaya two tablets three times in a day pyroids of vaidyanath two tablets three times in a day or from charaka company or show neel tablet two tablets three times in a day or nagakeshara churna 
one teaspoon with butter and warm water three times in a day. Bleeding times, local application, Chatadhuta Gruta, Pilex ointment or Arsho Neel ointment. Bleeding piles, regimen, Patcha Patcha, use only, use of Suran is advocated, is suggested only in dry piles. Suran should not be taken when there is bleeding. Suran is very hot and Takra is also advisable to this piles patient. If excessive bleeding, instead of Surana, take black raisins, Manuka, Munakka, 30 to 40 each day, 10 in the morning, 10 in the afternoon, 10 in the evening, 10 at night, old rice, wheat, Takra, then Shunt, dry ginger powder, Padwad are good for piles. Stay away from spicy, hot food and curd. Pitta prakopak ahar vihar. Working near furnace, eating all the time chili, vada pao, spicy is very, very, very bad for piles. Never take chili, never take garlic. Whenever there is bleeding, no chili, no garlic. Remember these words, okay? Sitting on uneven surface or in the same position for long time, always riding on the bike, traveling too much, forcible bowel movements should be avoided if you want to get cure from the piles. This is Chalya Tantra lecture for fourth year BMS CCIM syllabus paper two part A point number 13 diseases of rectum and anal canal and we had discussed about hemorrhoids or piles that is Arsh in Ayurveda. So I am very much thankful for your patience hearing and I wish you all the best. If you like this video, definitely you are requested to share this video, give a powerful feedback for energy boosting of Dr. Deshpande and don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. I wish you all the best. Take care and bye-bye. See you soon in the next video about Shalya Tantra lectures. Thank you very much.